All right, what we're going to do today, we're going to go back and we're going to briefly recap and cover our bear market correction playbook. This is a playbook that we started developing real early this year. We made it available in the Discord back January 30th. So all January, beginning of 2022, we were, as a community and a team, putting together a playbook for a correction and a bear market because we've seen it coming. We noticed it real quickly, and this is what we've been coming back to for this market condition that we've been in 2022. If you're not a part of the Trading Learning 101 Wolfpack, hit that subscribe button. Join the Trading Learning 101 community where we all grow as traders and investors. If you want to join the Discord, there should be a link down in the video description below. Join the Wolfpack, join the team. So this video, we're going to do a brief little preview of our playbook and what we've established here. And this is available to all of the members here, right down here in the ultimate pass. We got the playbook right here, the video and the PowerPoint slides if you want them. And then I also have my personal playbook that I have for when we're in a bull market. Plays that I like to look out for, strategies that I like to use when we're in a bull market. And then there's all kinds of other stuff in here for you guys from member only videos, classes that we have done in the past. We've put out over 10 classes, psychology lessons, study notes, all kinds of stuff, homework, all kinds of great stuff. And we have a weekly chat Monday through Friday that we're always in every single day. So bear market playbook, let's jump into it. Second slide, patience will be tested. Must be more selective and pickier what you trade or focus on. Going to be sitting on hands a lot and just observing. Discipline and patience is going to pay. We are not getting sucked into the micro time frames. We want to focus on big picture ideas and quality stocks and setups. We want to think like a sniper. Aim small, miss small. We do not have to trade every day. Remember, all it takes is for one trade to make your whole week. We have a code and we stick with it. And this is what we've been sticking to all this year while the markets have just been making lower lows on the year. Let's take a quick real quickly here at the SPY, which is an S&P 500. ETF that tracks the S&P 500, one of the popular ones, SPY. Blow up the daily chart here. We topped out right back here, January 4th, 2022. And all this year, believe it or not, and we're already halfway almost through 2022, we've just been continuously trending down, making lower highs, lower lows. We got a nice pop here. But it didn't last long. And now we are here currently May 9th making a new low on the year. So we haven't been seeing momentum in stocks. And a lot of stuff's really been getting driven down. And when you scroll out and look at the big picture on things. Let's flip over to the weekly chart. Going all the way back to 2009, 2008. That's the last time we've had a crash correction bear market so it was a heck of a run i would say from 2009 to 2021 that's about 13 years straight of a bull market that's a heck of a run if you ask me sure we had the pandemic pullback right here but how quickly we rebounded and then the fed started printing money pumping the economy with stimulus checks and lowering interest rates to zero. It We're paying for it now is what's happening. So let's go back to the playbook here. Continue on with this. So what is the code? You're aware of what's been going on inside of the markets. You're paying attention to the environment. You're showing up every day with your own eyes. 
You're paying attention to what has been going on. Remember, the stock market is very trendy, very trendy. And some trends that we have seen working this year, we've been seeing energy and oil gas stocks pop off and get hot a few times. And we've also been seeing new name IPOs pop up and run. There are a lot of newer name IPOs that have opened recently within the last two to three months running up and making new all-time highs while the markets are making new lows. So that's been a, a really reliable back burner play that we can keep revisiting is newer name IPOs and we've been seeing oil and gas stocks. What have we been seeing? Pattern recognition. Mindset. I want to be here tomorrow. Do not let one trade take me out. Going back, we don't need to trade every day in this market, you guys. We take it one day at a time. You show up, patiently wait for opportunity to fall into your lap. We've been in a bull market. We've known the conditions in a bull market. Every day we were showing up, we were seeing stocks run and explode and take off. Now that we're in a bear market, we're maybe only getting one stock, maybe two stocks a week running and taking off, going crazy. So the plays that are out there for bullish traders, we're not seeing that many of them. We're seeing a lot of failed follow through, failed breakouts, a lot of wackiness going on. Bears are in control. This is a short seller's market. Mindset. I want to be here tomorrow. Do not let one trade take me out. Am I mentally prepared each single day? Listen to your inner voice. If I am wrong, I will admit defeat and stop the bleeding. Remember, tomorrow is a new day. You never know what opportunities are just ahead. No averaging down. No revenge trading. If you're wrong, be wrong. Stop the bleeding. I've been in plenty of situations where... I traded something and was just trading my emotions and then the next day another opportunity easier opportunity has popped up and the stock would run up stupid from five dollars to forty dollars in just a couple hours so you never know how far opportunity is it could be just right around the corner in the market so just be patient sit on your hands something will come around i promise you that for as long as i've been a trader in this market you guys the markets have always given me an opportunity every week every single week i just have to patiently wait for it if I am not seeing the market clearly, I will sit on my hands until things make sense to me. Always think big picture ideas, not just closing green for the day. I want to close green for the week. Think more big picture ideas. Instead of focusing on your P&L every single day, closing green every single day, my main focus, I want to just close green for the week. If I can focus on closing green for the week, that, what, that is what leads to having a green month. Consistency. That's what we all want, right? Take it one week at a time and work your way down. The ones who survive, the 10% think outside of the box and differently than everyone else. I say this all the time to you guys. You have to be unique and different. I don't want to be doing and seeing what everybody else is doing and seeing out there. I want to be unique and different in my own way because I know 90% of people out there, even more, are consistently losing money in the markets. Think outside of the box. Key things to remember. We are receiving information differently than each other. We all have different eyes. We all see things differently. Your beliefs roll over into your trading. Always work on you. I can't tell you guys how many people I see roll in to the Discord. They join the community and they think it's as easy as following my trading alerts, learning my trading strategies. It goes a lot deeper than that. 
you guys we are all different and we are all in our own unique situation in our personal lives you were brought up differently than i was and so on and so on we all have different experiences first time experiences in our life that have developed our belief and we're all in different stages some of you may be 18 years old some of you viewers may be 25 i'm 32 years old there may be people watching us that are 50 years old so we're all scattered out everywhere and we all have experience under our belt so it's kind of hard i'm telling you guys trading it goes in a lot deeper than you think it does it's a big psychological mind game that's all it is and the more that you know about yourself that is where all the secrets lie you guys you're not going to hear too many traders tell you that out there they want to feed you and sell you the newest and greatest trading indicator the current trading strategy that's working right now and people want to be fed when to buy and when to sell. They don't want to study and put in the hard work. For as long as I have been a trader in the markets, the stock market has always given me at least one or more opportunities. I must patiently wait for them. One of my go-to strategies for when I'm in a correction, bear market, and even with this bear market that we're in right now for me myself this is my first true bear market the last time we were in a correction bear market i was in high school you guys graduating in 2007 so and i wasn't even interested in the stock market so this is a learning experience for me as well and we put this playbook together the first month january of 2022 and I think it's holding up quite well. We keep revisiting it. We're adding to it as this bear market and correction continues. And it's all about adapting to the market, adapting to what you're seeing and evolving as not only a trader, but as a human being as well, a person growing to be better with every day. ETFs and inverse ETF. Some examples. SPY. SPX. UVXY. VXX. VIX. I've made a lot of videos on my channel revolved around ETFs and inverse ETFs. They're real popular with investors and they also create trading opportunities for when markets go into the gutter you could be using inverse etfs to hedge your portfolio or even trade when panic starts to come into the market you're going to want to look at the fear gauge this is basic knowledge you should all know the fear gauge the higher the vix is the more fear is in the market You'll see opportunities pop up in these inverse ETFs like UVXY. Let's take a look real quick at the SPY, the S&P 500. We'll look at the one minute time frame here. The last three trading days for the SPY, you can see that the SPY got drilled down from 430 up here. It got drilled down Thursday, Friday it consolidated. And now Monday, we're gapping down and it's getting drilled down even more. Now we'll look at the UVXY. Complete mirror opposite of the SPY. The last three trading days here. SPY had a good up move here or the UVXY. Nice morning push consolidation there on Friday. Now Monday morning, we're gapping up and we're grinding up even higher. Inverse ETFs, there's all kinds of ETFs and inverse ETFs and there's even Bitcoin ETFs BITO is the Bitcoin ETF that was just recently released as a matter of fact this year back in well 2021 October of 2021 so you got an ETF that tracks Bitcoin let's say you like the Nasdaq QQQ you got the TQQQ SQQQ one of my favorite websites that I like to use to find ETFs is Direxeron. Direxeron ETF. And again, I've made videos on 
this website and how I find ETFs. They're on my channel. Just go into the playlist section, you guys. Look for the ETF inverse ETF playlist. I think I have eight or 10 videos all revolved around ETFs. Beautiful, great website here, you guys, filled with education and information. Take advantage of it. All ETFs, inverse ETFs that run together. And I got a list here that we made. It's all about preparing yourself for the future to take advantage. Remember, you want to be that 10%, you guys. There's a lot of people out here that just foolishly throw money into the markets and they don't know what they're doing. You want to be the 10% that prepares. You educate yourself. You put together a playbook. You're taking advantage. You got the upper hand. Remember that. Even as far as getting a desktop, getting high speed internet, connecting in with the internet cord, prepping up your desktop for speed. It's all about what you do behind the scenes that nobody else sees you guys. That's you have the upper hand versus the competition. The ones who are out there trading from their phones, trying to day trade from their phones. So all ETFs, inverse ETFs that run together, and we made a list here. We got the fear index right there, the VIX, the S&P 500 index, the bull ETFs, the bear ETFs, the NASDAQ index. You got the bull QQQ and the TQQQ, which is to times three ETF and then the bear SQQQ, which is a times three leverage ETF. The Dow Jones DIA, you got UDAO, SDAO, the Russell 2000, IWM, TNA, TZA, and then the semiconductors SMH. The bull is SOXL, the bear is SOXS. And how I decided to set up my watch list i'll pull this up for you guys real quick all of these different tabs up here are different watch lists and as you can see i got the russell 2000 watch list that's going to have the russell 2000 etfs and index in this watch list all your banks energy etfs biotechs your semiconductors my market etfs natural gas etfs gold etfs oil ETF my sectors all right here I like to have everything neatly organized that way it's just a click away from me and I can quickly pull up and see what's popping off and it's all about timing as you know in the market the quicker you can pull up something identify and put together a plan that's where you're going to make your money oil gas and gold etfs in a quick view so i can quickly see by filtering it what are the top performers out of all the oil gas and gold etfs out there looks like oil is the top performing today out of all of everything you even have mj mary jane which is a weed marijuana etf next up gold etfs and inverse etfs related gold etfs is dust jdst nugt jnug gld gdx and xau there's two pictures here of nugget and dust and these are bull and bear etfs that mirror each other all kinds of different trading strategies out here in the markets you just have to educate yourself on the information you got to put that work in you really do but i think i'll i'll do one more slide we'll do one more because this video is getting to be a bit long and this is we're on slide seven out of total i have over 20 slides in this bear market playbook Medium cap stock, stocks between $20 and $100. Well-known names that have good volume every day to get in and out. Stocks like Uber, Snapchat, Robinhood, AMC. Pay attention to the big picture trend ideas. Need to have range. You can zoom out on a one minute and clearly see a stock moving more than $1 up and down i am a trader i take advantage of price action it's what i need stocks that have been in play and stay in play 
no new up and comers unless the chart proves to us first when you look at the daily chart we want to see consistent volume every day so let's take a look at some well-known names twitter was recently in play with the whole deal with elon musk and the buyout recently twitter's been getting driven down but every day twitter has consistent good volume to easily get in and out every day on average twitter does 92 million in volume and it's fairly priced if the stock isn't over a hundred dollars if it's under a hundred it's pretty much day tradable take a look at uber looking at the daily chart scrolling out consistently every day uber does 140 million in volume no problem stock's been trending down recently but still offers good setups and opportunities with uber uber has a personality it likes to go range bound a lot it likes to set up and go back and forth and we could zoom in here these two days it bottomed out here at 26 dollars and then ran up the rest of the day up to 28.50 that's a two dollar and fifty cent run up there the second half of the day that's good opportunity there per share two dollars and fifty cent and it sets up pulls back down bounces right where it bottomed out there 26 another nice pop up to 27.50 so a nice dollar fifty run right there it's all where in the way you look at the charts you guys hear me say that a lot but i thought i'd jump on to give you guys a preview bear market playbook we've been working on all this year we have it available in the discord go down into if you're a member here the ultimate pass click on the playbook and you got a video going over the whole playbook we got all types of different plays in here we have our classes that we've done of course over 10 classes we have our member videos over 18 videos in here study notes homework powerpoint slides key details to look for when creating a watch list all the foundation is in here you just have to put in that work so i don't want no lazy people coming up in here you got to be dedicated you want to put in this work you're showing up every day you're studying your ass off is what you're doing i'm tired of and sick and tired of seeing lazy people come in here and all they want are hot stock picks you guys enjoy the rest of your day i'm gonna get going and editing on these videos be safe out there take it a day at a time you guys and remember have that patience have that discipline study 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 Later, you guys.